Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the migration from Metalogix Archive Manager into Office 365 Archive Mailbox. First, let's take a look on the source side. As you can see, I have already archived a lot of emails using the Enterprise Manager. On the target side, I have created a mailbox with an activated in-place archive. I'm going to use the in-place archive as a target for migrating the archived elements. Let's set up a migration. For the migration, I'm going to use Content Gate. So I'm clicking on New Migration and starting the Migration Configuration Wizard. So as a source, I'm going to pick Man. I'm clicking on Configure. In the configuration, I need to provide the database connection. Click the database. I'm testing the connection to the database. And I also need to provide the name of the source map server. So right now I have configured the source. On the target side, I need to provide the configuration for the Office 365 subscription. So I'm clicking on configure. I'm creating a server. I call it Office 365 Homeland. Right now, I need to provide the access method, which will be Exchange Web Services in case of Office 365. So I'm clicking on Configure. Here, I need to provide the URL for the Exchange Web Services. So that will be outlook.office365.com. The server version is Exchange 2013. In the NDS credentials, I need to provide the credentials of the super user who is going to migrate the elements into Office 365 and can access the target mailboxes. So, okay, so in order to archive into the archive mailboxes, I need to check the user archive mailbox as possible option. In order to read the users from Office 365, I need to set up the user provisioning as well. So I'm clicking on set. Here I can provide the same super user. I need to provide the publisher URL as well. and provide the authentication, which will be basic. So right now we have configured the Office 365 connection, so I'm clicking OK to connect. The connection might take some seconds. Here we go. So right now we have configured source, the target. So let's name it man 365 archive and create. So right now on the left side we see our migration configuration. So if you click on the source we see the source users. These are the archive users. On the target side I'm connecting to Office 365 or reading all the user lists. This might take also some seconds. So here we go. So we have the users from the Office 365. Now, right now, I'm going to create a user mapping. So I establish a link between local mailbox and the Office 365 mailbox. So I'm clicking on user mapping. Let's take one of the users. This one has a lot of emails. And this is our target. So I'm adding it. So right now, I have the user mapping established. And let's create a user group in order to manage it much more easier. So let's call it soul, since the user is called soul, and add the user mapping into that group. 
So right now we have the group and the users have it. So right now we can start the migration. So just simply context menu, migrate items and the migration can start. So as we can see, the migration will be started in 20 threads. So we can achieve a good throughput with that. First of all, we read out the emails from the source user and then we start the migration. As you can see, the migration has already started and we can switch into the target mailbox as well to see the emails migrated. So I'm clicking on the target and refreshing it. So I'm clicking on the in place archive and as you can see the structure from the source is being created and we see all the emails which are migrated into the target. So as you can see with some easy steps it's really easy to set a migration from Metalworks Archive Manager into Office 365. So thank you for your time today and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.